Good morning, happy Monday, everybody. Oh, 12 hour day. Yes, it's very bright outside because it's like 20 after 7. Kurt has been editing his butt off since uh, a little after 5. Video is rendering. I just chopped all the time lapse out because it was like an hour and 50 minutes long. As it is, it's almost 50 minutes long. <laughs> so, and I do some cutting. But, uh, Video is rendering. I'm probably going to turn on no sleep and throw up my backpack because I don't think it's going to be done rendering and I still have to export it and then hopefully I can on my lunch I can get the thing connected to my hotspot and upload it. So that's the game plan. But uh, good morning everybody. And it is beautiful out this morning. Birds are chirping. Alrighty. Sun is coming up. Get these guys for a quickie walk. Mateo uh, got himself uh, <laughs> a little bit of trouble last night. He came walking over, uh, oh, after midnight, crying because he fell off the recliner trying to get cat food, which I wasn't really sure what was going on when he came over. <laughs> and I picked, I said, come here, buddy, come here. Came to me, I picked him up, set him in bed with me and snuggled with him. He's <laughs> So this morning I found the cat litter dish, or the cat food dish on the floor. So, did I say litter? I meant food, cat food. Yeah, so he tried to make crossover and he did not, uh, He and he fell and took the dish with him. So, maybe it'll teach him, I don't know. But uh, I gave them their glycosamine treats yesterday before we left, and I gave them again when we got home, and I gave them again this morning, since we went on such a big adventure, to see if that does not help him with his his limping and so far i think he's walking pretty good of course you know once he gets around mommy he'll be he'll be limping bad we didn't get home until like um nine minutes of ten needless to say i'm in trouble because we did not get home before she went to work so it is what it is i mean you can't. We, we did hit a little bit of construction. Mike tried to help us by jumping on 81 for a brief second and trying to cut some time off. But it just, there was just no way. And I actually came back 15 last night. I didn't take my normal route. I'm like, mm, let me try this and see what happens. That late at night on a Sunday, we were cruising along pretty good. But it's like a six mile difference. But because of the speed, it's about the same time wise. It truly is crazy. A couple clips yesterday, I did not have the microphone on. It wasn't windy, so it didn't hurt the vlog. In fact, I think it made it a little bit better because it was actually, you could hear things. <laughs> Birds chirping and Mike talking. Yeah, good adventure though. I really hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's video because it was, uh, it was fun. It really was. It was a lot to see, a lot of walking. Uh, our actual walk ended up being like five miles. <coughs> uh, when the parking lot was on the opposite side of a metal great bridge, so I mentioned on our way across, we carried both dogs. I carried Priya, he carried Mateo. On the way back, we were both dead. I'm sitting there going, you hold them on the other side of the bridge. I will go get my car and swing around and get you guys. And literally pulled right up on the <laughs> part of the pathway there. And Mike had a little bit of a struggle getting in my car. It's a little too small for him. So, but we managed. So that way he didn't have to try to walk across it either. It was, uh, it's a pretty decent span. I couldn't film it because, you know, the dogs, we were carrying them. So it made it a little bit challenging. But for the most part yesterday, these guys were pretty well behaved. And then of course I was, <laughs> then you got little ground pecker Mateo here. I don't know what he was going after. That was, it was funny. I'm just sitting here pecking the, pecking the dirt. When I was watching it back, I was like, I was laughing. <laughs> time it happened I kind of was too what do you think princess were you a good girl yesterday yeah yeah all right come on if you're not doing anything we're gonna keep walking come on yeah we're gonna make this a uh, go over by the vet let him sniff for five seconds and then get back home and I gotta get on the road because it's probably gonna be like 35 or 40 oh good old 12 hour Mondays oh, it's gonna be a little less than that because I'm not going in until eight o'clock uh, I'm not uh, pressing it too much this morning I'm like, I, you know, part of me is even thinking, well, 8.30, but with Sunday and I got to make sure I get stocked up. I got to finish my markdowns and uh, yeah, so what are you doing anything, dude? You don't got a poopies looking at me like that. I'll get you both. What you doing for you? 
<laughs> so that uh, rig that I got for this that holds the phone, um, the downside is, there's a couple downsides. A, weight. It definitely makes things way heavier. Uh, downside too, I'd say the way you grip it is not very safe to me. And the last one would be the fact that uh, it's not pockable. So it worked. Polarized lenses were on. That would be the best way to go. But, uh, you know, have it in case. But for, like, I, you know, I intended it to be a side-by-side -side rig. Yeah, not not so much. The way that thing holds the, uh, the phone. Uh, I was actually concerned that it wasn't even going to stay on there, to be honest with you. It just, uh, not, not the deepest of grips. Like, it was right on the edge of the case. It never fell off. It never really moved. But it just does not feel like it uh, is super st sturdy. Um, so, it, it might come out here and there. I have it. But again, I don't have the strap on the back of it like I do with this one. And, yeah. Did make a bigger screen for me, though. So, you know, seeing what I was filming made it a little bit easier. <laughs> Neither dog is leading. It's like, almost like they just know we're going to come over here. You coming, princess? Chick. Okay, I go over and sniff yet. <laughs> Normally she takes the lead well before now. She's, like, yanking me over here. I didn't have to yank her over here, but nonetheless, I didn't... But the whole concept of having the phone to do some zoom shots with the turtles and the truck, a couple of little spots. I never, I, Mike got some amazing pictures of the ducks. I did not include them in the video, but I'll, uh, maybe I'll try today. Stick them in right around here. Sniffy, sniffy, sniffies. And now you do a piddle. Oh, good, you unwrapped me. Thanks, buddy boy. Thanks, little buddy. Eat it, puppies. All right, we're not going any. Come on, Priya. Come on, we got to get going. Come on, Daddy's got to go work. Come on, Bubby. Come on, I know. I got to yank you away. The one thing I feel like I need to do on these adventures, especially when we come across the signs that explain what's going on, I got to be a lot more mindful of how I'm capturing the signs. Um, I mean, I'm able to screen grab them, but the, especially the red bridge, it was at such a bad angle, I don't think you can even read it. And a couple of them actually had pictures of the boats and stuff in the canal that I didn't get real good shots of. So I need to be mindful, maybe use the iPhone for those as a, as a secondary shot, just so I know I got them at a good angle. Because it gives you the history of what we're doing, um, more so than you know me just yapping my gums. Good evening, everybody. Is that even at minus seven? I think it is. Certain times it just seems like that's still too bright. <laughs> but I don't know, when it edits, edits through, it does. Oh, I tell you, that footage yesterday came out pretty good. Oh, I'm proud of that adventure, even though I'm getting myself in big trouble at home for getting home at 10, 10 o'clock. Oh well. <laughs> Goddamn adult. <laughs> oh yeah, alright. 11 and a half hours done. Time to go home. I don't know if there's any leftovers. Oh, there's just a little bit of salad left. I wonder how that is. Um, and I don't know what else. I ate all the ramen. I ate scrambled eggs. So uh, it's a little breezy, and I want to say mild outside. But uh, try to get puppies out for their normal little walk down by the vet, and then go home. That way they can do their businesses, get a little leg stretching. I wonder how little man's feeling after falling off the recliner trying to get cat food last night. Because he was not having any problems walking until all of a sudden he comes whimpering over at like, uh, I don't know what time that was, 12.30 or so. Yep, tried to jump up on the recliner and he fell off, took the bowl with him. <laughs> Damn little dope. Problem is, Priya's sleeping on the recliner, and I don't close the gate, so uh, I don't know what to do. Could move it further. I could just move the recliner forward. See if that stops the little turd, because I don't know what else I can do. 
boy the sky tonight hold on when we get around this corner i'll spin you around it's gonna start being lighter here real soon i'm afraid i think not afraid i'm i'm happy about this one two three and we'll go up up yeah look at that blue sky so let's get staying light later won't be long until i'll be going home at eight o'clock and on Monday nights, and I'll still have some sun. Won't be a lot, but anything's better than nothing. Alrighty, home sweet home. <laughs> kind of, sort of, not really, but <laughs> I'm, in, I'm getting silent here, but oh yeah, yeah. Getting kids out for a puppy walk. Pretty ten feet behind, so she doesn't get to be on film. And I didn't bring the light for the drone or for the drone for the pocket, so yeah. I'm not sure I'll be on camera much. Uh, get near one of the lamps, I can be on film, but other than that, not really. <laughs> wow, it is actually not windy here at all. At work, it was quite a little bit windier. The moon is coming up, so I'm hoping we can come around and it'll be high enough we can see it. You running down to the stump, buddy? Yeah. Your favorite thing to pee on? Got a lot of favorite things to pee on. There's that brand's ass. There he is. He's with us. Hanging back, like always. All right, just go smell your vet, and then call it a night. It's not light enough to detect my face. Oh well, I'm in it. Oh yeah. I'm surprised, it's like really calm here. I think it was like 54 on my way home. Hopefully it'll be somewhat mild in the morning for us too, because we haven't had a mild morning in a while. I think it was like 23 degrees this morning. It was a 35. I don't know. Honestly, I don't even remember. I don't remember that long ago. It's been such a long day. Oh, but yeah, we do have a visit tomorrow, so I don't know what all that's going to entail. But uh, hmm, things could change. <laughs> all right, they're getting their sniffs on, getting their sniffs on, and their peas. <laughs> And there's plenty of light here, so it'd probably be a good spot to say goodnight. Uh, I never, I did kind of get a picture of the moon, but it's really low tonight. Let's see if I can send that to you and put it in the video. Oh boy. Alrighty, everybody. Well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, it's a Monday. I, I can't do much about Mondays. There's no time. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the morning. Have a good night and stay safe. See, I wasn't kidding. The moon's really out. Let's see if we can get our 2x zoom in there. Got a couple cool shots though with 5x. That looks super freaking blurry. There it goes. That looks better. Alrighty.